could soon have its own standards for training teachers in firearm safety. WRTV's Meredith Hackler shows us why lawmakers introduced a bill that would create a curriculum for educators and how it could help protect schools. According to gun advocates, education is key when handling a firearm. A bill of the state house would aim to arm teachers with gun education classes. It's something supporters say could help them respond appropriately if a school shooting were to occur. The purpose of this bill is to train teachers and staff that volunteer and want to have the ability to defend themselves a chance to survive. Representative Jim Lucas is talking about House Bill 1177. The bill would create a specialized firearm safety class that teachers could opt in to taking for free. The 40 hour training class is something Rep Lucas feels is needed considering the number of school shootings our country continues to see. Give them the option to defend themselves because as we've seen and, and as I laid out the facts, when seconds count, police are minutes away or else they're waiting outside under a state of confusion. Garrison Burge is the manager of Beach Grove Firearms. He says this is a step in the right direction. Unfortunately, with us being in uncharted waters right now, I don't think there is a wrong answer and a wrong direction for us to go, but we need to make sure that we are going to go down the most appropriate road. He says having knowledge about guns can help stop criminals. For example, recognizing when a gun is jammed. They are a teacher themselves, so they should understand the power of knowledge, whether you agree upon it or not. The Indiana State Teachers Association testified about the bill, and since it's not placing requirements on teachers, it's not something they're against. School employees should not be mandated to be armed. And since House Bill 1177 provides optional and voluntary training for school employees, uh, we, ISTA is neutral on this bill. House Bill 1177 did pass out of the House Education Committee today. It now heads to the full House for consideration. In Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV.